Happy Friday. Hope you enjoyed your week. Um, we are in our deadlock series, and this is really the last video in our deadlock series. And today we're going to talk about beating a dead horse. Beating a dead horse. Um, last week we talked about feeling slighted, um, but today is beating a dead horse. And, you know, beating a dead horse is when we continue to do the same thing over and over again, and nothing's changing. And it's not getting better, right? We're putting all of our energy into it. We're putting our blood, sweat, and tears, our our you know our thoughts, our heart, our fi our hearts, our finances. We're putting all of that into it, but and nothing's changing. Nothing's getting better. It's not adequate. It, we're not giving life to anything, right? And and we're in a deadlock, and we can't go past that because we just keep beating the same this dead horse. You know, you ever met somebody that every time you see them, they say the same thing over and over again. You're like, okay, it's time to stop beating that dead horse. It's time to do something different. It's time to redirect. It's trying to find a different language or a different perspective, right? And so that's what I want to talk to you about today. Because some of us are in deadlocks because we keep beating the dead horse. It's not going to um, give life. It could be a relationship, right? And it could be any kind of relationship. It could be a partner, you know, your partner, you, you know, no matter what you do, no matter how much energy you put in it, they don't change. And you continue to just complain, 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 and you're beating a dead horse because either the person's going to change, they're going to change or they're not. And maybe you, now you're the, you can't go further and maybe you just need to stop beating that dead horse. I'm not saying you got to leave your partner. I'm saying you got to change your story. You got to change your perspective. You got to change your approach. Because the only person who's really, well, no, you both are probably very frustrated. You're frustrated because you have to keep saying it. Well, you, you choose to keep saying it. And they are frustrated because you keep saying it. It could be uh, a friendship. You and your, uh, you know, your best friend. You know, you have been saying the same thing over and over to your best friend and, and it just doesn't change. That's beating a dead horse. Stop. It's not getting better. Sometimes, and sometimes we do have to move on because this is not giving me what I need anymore. And this, and I can't see any life coming out of this or this is not going to get me to my goal or where I want to be. So, you know, some of you or some of us have arrived to a deadlock because you keep beating that old horse, right? That that and that horse is dead, y'all. Um, you know, and, and the question should be versus beating a dead horse. It's got how can I heal from this? How can I move on from this? Cause I am tired of beating this dead. This horse, it it's it's not going anywhere. Nothing's changing. It could be in a job. You know, you 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 going in every day talking about how the company's doing you wrong. Every day, all day, that's all people hear. And you're beating a dead horse because nothing's changing. You're still unhappy. You're unhappy with your supervisor. You're unhappy with your pay. Maybe it's time to rethink. I'm not telling you what to do. And I'm not definitely not telling you to quit your job. But what I am telling you to do is ask God to show you how to heal, right? And move on from this. Either you're going to stay there and work that job and find some job satisfaction, or you need to do something different. I'm sorry, I hope, I hope nobody wants to get me on this, but it's real. Because you're beating a dead horse and you're just frustrating yourself. You could be, you know, beating a dead horse because you want your life to be different, right? And every time somebody talks to you, you're talking about all the bad things that are happening to you. You're beating a dead horse. It's time for you to figure out what's good in your life and assess that and go back and dig deep within yourself to try to figure out, God, how can I heal and move on from this? And I'm sorry, and then there's certain situations where people, especially if you're dealing with another person, they're not, they don't want to change. And you're beating a dead horse wanting them to change and they are not ready to change, right? Now, they may be ready to change later, but not right now. So you need to go on and do something different. 
Because you're stuck. You're in a deadlock. And God wants you to come out. And also, God would have you to put your energy and your time into something that is worthy of you. Right? That is good for you. That is going to bring you comfort and joy and change. So, you know, I, oh, thank you. I think about, if you've ever heard Joyce Myers talk about the story, if you know who Joyce Myers is, um, and her husband, Dave, and how he used to play golf and how she used to just carry on all the time, you know, just upset and mad and da 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 da, -da, -da, -da. He kept playing golf, right? Because she was beating a dead horse. She said, until she decided, wait a minute, I'm just beating a dead horse. I'm wasting my energy. He's going to play golf. I need to get me a life. I need to do something different. So she started finding things that brought her pleasure and gave her joy. And it allowed him to do what he could do when she did what she was able to do what she needed to do, right? So stop beating a dead horse, you all. We got to redirect. We got to assess, evaluate, ask the Lord, how can I heal and move on from this? You know, and, and if you don't want to move on from the person or the situation, how do I show up in this space, God? How do I make this work for me? Because some of you have entered into a deadlock because you're doing the same thing over and over again. And, you know, Jesus in, in Matthew chapter 10, I wanted to say this. He sent out his disciples because Christians, can I tell you, we beat dead horses sometimes. We won't make people take our faith. We won't, be, be, won't make people accept our faith. And Jesus was like, listen, you know, because as a witness, sometimes you just need to live Christ instead of just trying to beat people over here with it. Because you're beating a dead horse. People are not ready to hear it. They may not be ready to receive it. And so Jesus told him in Matthew chapter 10, when he sent the disciples out, he said, listen, when you go out and you go into a city, find a house that's worthy of you, a family or a person that's worthy of you. And you are to live there and rest there, right? Stay there while you're there and tell them about the good news of the gospel. And if they receive you, then that's a blessing. But if they don't, knock the dust off your feet and move on. Don't stay there and beat a dead horse. I'm going to tell you, quit staying in that space and beating that dead horse. Knock the dust off your feet and figure out what other direction you can go in. I don't have the answers to your situation, to your life situation. I think too many times we, um, in our sharing with others, we project what we think they should do. And that's not what I'm doing here. What I'm projecting to you is that don't get stuck. Whether you move on from the situation, whether you stay in the situation because you choose to, you're not ready to move on, but figure out a way for you to move on in your life, right? Can you all catch that? Do you know you can be in a, a not so healthy situation, uh, a relationship, but continue to move on and accept that my relationship may never get better, but my life can get better. I can make different choices. I can do different things. That's how some people stay married longer than others. Not that they are feel like that they're in the best situation and not that the person is giving them what they need. They've decided that I'm going to stay with this person, but I'm going to find ways to meet my need and for me to be fulfilled. And I'm going to stop beating this dead horse trying to make somebody be who they aren't. And that's the same way with friendships. That's the same way. Also, it can happen with a parental situation. Stop beating that dead horse. Because you're tired of beating it. And folks are tired of you beating it too. God can give you a way to move on to another horse, a donkey or a mule, so you can ride on. <laughs> Much love, Keita.